Hello, my name is Solange Kinderman from Golden Keras. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, decorate um, balls of polystyrene for Christmas. And so we're going to have three uh, activities. The first one is decorated with uh, material, you know, fabric like that, squares of fabric. And uh, we, the instructions and the templates are in the website. So I'm just going to make it in front of you because it, it, uh, it's easier if you understand. It's a good idea to draw the squares for, for residents to cut because it makes it easier. And don't worry if they don't cut in the line, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we are going to start by um, placing it somewhere for some leverage. Um, first thing we do is to divide the ball in half and then in quarters. Okay. Now we're going to use um, bamboo skewer or an upside down crochet um, hook. Now this one we have to, it's too sharp, we're going to blunt it a little bit. That's all you need to take. Okay. We make, um, where the lines meet, we make a hole, quarter inch deep. And then we take a length of uh, ribbon or string and put it in, dip it in uh, glue. We dip about um, one inch and with the other side you try to put it inside the hook, the, 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 the hole that you poke, you put it in. Now this takes a long time to dry because there's no air inside the, the hole. So I'm going to bring the one that I have done before. There, this one is. And we start the decorating. So you place the, you're going to place the hook, the bamboo skewer in the middle of the, the material of the fabric and just quarter of an inch is enough. And the distance between one and them is also quarter an inch. And uh, you follow the line here. So you follow the line until you come to the other side. And you do the same on this side here. Now I have one here already that I've done on both sides. On divided into quarters and now we're going to fill the gaps and to fill in the gaps there is no there is no rules it's any other way and then you go until you finished and then you come up with something like that now we do the paper ball, we decorate the paper ball. You can use this paper, which you buy in craft shop, called Kinder Square. It comes in 100 sheets and all sorts of colors. Or you can use gift wrapping paper, a good quality one. Those very thin ones are not suitable. And so you use those. So you cut your petals, you want, and then you have your ball, and like the previous one, we're going to we divide it in, in, in half, and then we divide it in <laughs> there. And we need to put 
a string in here. <laughs> and um, like the other one, just dip it in glue and push it through the poke the hole here. And you can put a little bit more the way you want. And then, um, ideally, you let it dry. I don't have one dried, so we're going just to put it upside down and start here. We start with the green paper, and we are going to put uh, some glue at the end. Not a lot. Just here at the end. And put in a way that the the tip of the paper is in the where the lines meet. And then the next one, the same, they have to all meet here. You need five or six, depends. Um, uh, the size of your ball, you need uh, more. Yeah, there it goes there. And I think another three and we are right. And the last one. <clears throat> so there. Now we start our second. Uh, the second, uh, we do the, the red one. <laughs> and it should be quarter inch from the tip. From tip to tip should be quarter inch like that. And always try to put in between here, and then you put it one ah, here. Let's do it. So it's more or less um, from tip to tip, quarter, uh, half an inch. Uh, the, you can put one slightly on top of the other, not not a lot. Now, like, so once you put the second, third, and the fourth layer, you put the ball slightly on one side and do the fourth layer and the fifth layer. Some people need more than um, six layers, some people need seven. But that is how we're going to end now. I'm just going to show you. Um, the amount of glue it's not a lot it is only about that's all you put that amount and now we put from
and from from tip to tip should be roughly half an inch here half an inch that one is a little bit more so I suppose that one I could have put one more layer here and then the last one but that's it so now we're going to do that which is made in construction paper however if you want uh, to do different uh, from the construction paper you can use um, you know frozen food boxes it's very good and what you do is you have to glue onto um, something stiff because if you don't it, it uh, paper it uh, is not suitable just paper it has to be something uh, with some body like that so you cut the circles from whatever recycled paper you have and place whatever paper you choose and then you fold it in the middle oh, fold it in the middle and use um, a ruler or the, I'm using a popsicle it has to be very flat very flat okay just press it so you are going to need um, 16 segments but if for if you're doing it for the first time you can make one like this one from a book page that's only eight um, to start with you do with eight so once you have all your segments you're going to join them and you have to put a lot of glue especially on the edges there and you glue them together make sure that they are very here like that and for them to dry nicely you're going to put um, paper clips on the sides like that and you leave for at least half an hour there you are leave half an hour and let's do another one one more lots of glue on the edges Make sure that it's as here. When it dries, it dries flat like that. So once you have all your segments together, what you're going to do is these ones are dried. We're going to take them out and glue them. So we put them. Like that and now we're going to glue them together. So we take this and of course you put them again here. So now we have four segments together. If you find that um, some of them um, needs uh, trimming, just trim a little bit, it doesn't matter. Now, once you have them, let them dry. And when they are dry, what you do you can put a little if you want you can put a little um, bell in them like that you pass it through make a knot in here yeah, bring the knot to the middle and uh, place it in here in here like that and I have one here made that's what we did and once it's done we get the dried 
uh, second half and glue them together like that. So let's do it. There you are. And you put them together. And of course you have to um, let dry. So we're going to put this. Three is enough. One on the, each corner and one on top because otherwise it doesn't dry properly and on the other side too and you let it dry and of course when you want to when it's dry you can actually um, put some glue and sprinkle with the uh, glitter and uh, they look very nice this one as you can see is only um, eight segment this one is 16 thank you very much that's all for today see you next time